Welcome to 5 Minute Tool Reviews, where I review a tool that I purchased with my own money. Let there be light. Today I'm reviewing my Sunco Lighting LED Shop Light 4100 lumen, 40 watt, 5000 degrees Pizza! daylight. Oh no! I'm getting shot by Nerf guns! Ah! Not working? Damn. You have it. Ah, we have Nerf guns for Christmas and everybody's getting shot with Nerf guns all the time. And this is what I got for Christmas. I got an eight pack of these and so far I've hung up six because I already had two of basic and basically I had two of a different brand but basically the same thing um, already and I probably could hang more of them up and I will but as you see my shop is always a work in progress. Finally got some decent lighting. And you should be able to see the difference immediately. And I'm gonna. When I moved into my shop a year and a half ago, this was basically it. Well, to be fair, about that was the amount of light in here. Well, and then this was the level of light I had in my shop. Workable, it's okay. A few little dark spots here and there. Once you add all of this, it's just. It's so much brighter in here, and I still have two lights left. Oh, wait, I still have one I haven't turned on. Yep, and I still have two lights left in here, and I still have my floodlights that I typically use for filming over here. Um, but for an eight pack of these, it was right at $200, which makes it right at $25 a light. And what I've seen whenever you buy these lights individually, they're more like $30 to $35. So if you can't afford to buy the whole light at whole thing at once, it's definitely the better way to go. You can hook up four in series. Um, and they have a just a regular two-prong plug on one end, and the other end is a two-prong receiver plug. Um, it's just an LED tube, basically looks like a fluorescent, but it's LED. Got the about a four foot long cord. These are 45, let's see, they're 45.44 inches, so 45 and a half inches long and about two inches thick. Comes with a little bag of parts with a little chain, which is what I used to install it. Um, dry, cheap little drywall anchors and some drywall screws if you need to hang it, mount it into drywall, etc. I mounted mine to the rafters, which is what you should do. Will they last? Will it hold up good? Yeah, I mean, I've had the other, I mean, other brands, same thing, probably comes from the same plant, um, just was branded a different brand. Um, I've had those for um, well over two years, and I mean, they're on all the time, because I'm lazy. I don't turn them off. Their LEDs are not burning that much power. I just leave them on. Um, now that I have this many, I'll definitely start turning it off. But overall, um, for $25 a light, I mean, that's... That's a pretty good deal. Um, I actually had a bunch of salvaged salvaged fluorescent lights that I tried was gonna try to rewire some of them to an LED replacement, but the cheapest I was able to find the bulbs for um, was like ten dollars a bulb, and I'm sure I am absolutely sure there's cheaper prices out there. But I looked at that, and for me, it just wasn't worth the trouble of trying to rewire, um, bypass the ballast, test the ballast to make sure it's still good. All that stuff because I'm not really an electrician, guys. I'm so thanks for watching five minute tool reviews. We will see you next week where we review another tool that I've bought with my own money. And now we're going to talk about our sponsor, the business of carpentry.com. And just kidding about the sponsor part because the business of carpentry.com is me. What I am doing coming up very soon is launching a website where basically I go through everything I wish I knew when I started my carpentry business. Am I an expert? No. Do I have it all figured out? No. Do I make millions of dollars? No. Far from it. Um, but whenever I started my business, it was hard to find the resources that I wanted and I needed all in, a, all in one place, all condensed. So starting the business of carpentry is my answer to the question and my goal is to provide the resources that I wish that were easy to find and the resources I wish I had when I started my business three years ago. Yeah, so thanks for watching and we will see you next week.